Art is a wonderful way to connect the broader community. We have two different changing exhibition styles here at the Foundation. We started that really as a way to begin the dialogue with the community about art in anticipation of starting our public art endowment. We're very excited about the show because this is an opportunity for one really energized and interesting part of our community to come together and show what they're doing in Greensboro. It's also an interesting bridge. Community Foundation is in a really old, beautiful building, and it's a formal space. It's a space where serious work goes on, and it has a feeling of a place of business. This is a real bridge. There's a lot of found objects. There's a lot of process art. There's a lot of collage. There's mail art. All of it about the energy of the moment, but sort of fixed on the wall at the same time. So a really interesting, complex way of working the artists themselves as a collective are the creators and the curators in the sense that they created this, um, the collection in this space. I'm Stephanie Sherman and I'm the Collaborative Director of Elsewhere Artists Collaborative in downtown Greensboro on South Elm Street. Elsewhere is a living museum and arts production site set within a former thrift store. So we invite artists to create new works using the resources that were upon the store when we transformed it into a new art space. The name of the show is Messages. It's produced by the Etc. Collective, which is a group of artists affiliated with Elsewhere and its residency program. The artists that are, were involved in this show particularly were participating in a New Year's event. Um, and so our collective of artists really came together to produce this show um, amongst one another. Highlights of the show are uh, the series of male artworks. Um, these works were curated by an artist, Claire Vanderplas, who participated in our program. And she invited artists that she knew from, from elsewhere to kind of create works on paper that would then be sent to different locations and they would add new works to the work. So each piece of mail was kind of an evolving artwork in and of itself. We then collected all the different pieces of mail and it was featured in a show in New Zealand. And this is the first time the mail has been together back in the US and we're inviting people to not only look at the different pieces of mail, but interact with it. So any visitor can kind of take a piece of art and hold it and look at it because it's definitely three-dimensional. Other things that I really enjoy about the show are the chair covers. The chairs were very formal and austere and we wanted to kind of get people to, to think about when they're sitting down in a space of waiting, how their kind of waiting experience is changed by, by where they're sitting or how inviting the place that they will sit is. Other highlights of the show are certainly the center sculptural airplane. The idea evolved from kind of getting a feel of the space and a running joke that kind of emerged with our collective of the theme of flying and also kind of mistaking birds and planes and definitely looking up as a theme that's come out of the collaborative process as we've been creating. Ian and Sarah kind of stumbled upon this wood and were thinking about small airplanes that were played with as a kid and it just kind of evolved and came together from there. So we're really excited how kind of the central rotunda space features such a dynamic and an unusual element for a pretty formal space. We're not as much interested in the individual parts as how the parts come together and then how the people that use the space or interact with the space can interpret those different elements. So it's not just that you come into a space and see work, but that you have an evolving and longer experience with that work where different things might catch your eye each day. Unfolding connection of ideas between what's kind of represented all around you in the space of passage. Our goal in the show of messages is to really try and make those connections and to really try and kind of create new networks between what's going on in people's lives and what they're thinking about and their experience of being surrounded with artworks. 
We hope people will come up and take the nail art off the walls and listen to the phone that has messages and spell out different messages to one another um, with the work. So we really approach the work as a tool for all the members of the Community Foundation to communicate with each other. The interactivity is a huge component of what we want to bring to the Community Foundation community.